This is a human face. And this is a robot head. Today we're gonna combine them. I'm sorry. So naturally, the first step in any robotics project is to gather supplies. I had no idea what I was getting. I don't know, like dowel, dowel rods? You know, the rods? You're embarrassing yourself. So like 90% of the other things that I built, I just had to figure something out and just, you know, whip it whip it right up there. This week, I'm gonna be building a robotic face and you can program in different expressions. And I'm even gonna add a feature where the robot just opens and closes its mouth. So it can look like it's singing, it's talking, singing. And when it's done, it'll look like this. As you can see here, we have two sets of servo motors. So the motors on the bottom are gonna be controlling the eyes and the ones on top are gonna be used to give the eyebrows a little Something to write home about. Why are you really building this? Mm. Okay, now see, I'm not supposed to be talking about this, but I recently joined the band. I said I wouldn't talk about this on the channel. I feel like it's gonna get old really quickly. And we're gonna be filming a music video, but we need robot backup singers. You already mentioned it. I did not. And we even have band shirts. Boy. attach the motors. I attach the motors. You see, the eyebrows are gonna attach to the motors here. So every time the motor moves, the eyebrows are gonna do something like this. I mean, it's just so cool. Little did they know, Junie had actually built a similar mouth robot in the past but the video got deleted because the video had something to do with objects that rhyme with the words Schmide Pods. <laughs> and I'm still salty. So now it's time for me to do the code. So I had to get into position. Much better. This robot is gonna be controlled using Raspberry Pi. And since the Raspberry Pi is basically a small computer, it's gonna be taking in user input to determine the facial expressions of the robot. Code facts. Using the raw input function, the user is prompted to choose an emotion. The code will then jump down to the corresponding motor sequence and move the face accordingly. And for each expression, there's a different eyebrow placement, mouth position, and eye motion. Who would have thought? But first, the personalization. <laughs> and then you use it. And then you just use it. What do you use it for? Good question. What can robotics do for me? A story by Junie Gray. You can use it for science. Or if your face is obstructed and you want to show people how you feel. And it's great because the robot can do five distinct expressions. Fear. Mad. Happy. Risky. And even misunderstood. Welcome to Life Spooky. I just, I just, I just, I just, I just, I just want to be a normal girl. I just want to be a normal girl. But also, you can do music. I put it in a music video.